collective flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afro Seed. Today I'm ready for the beautiful, handsome collective. What up, collective? Hey, y'all. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell to book a private reading with me or to shop in my store. <clears throat> All that information is in the description box below. All right? So let's get into it. <clears throat> Pick a letter today. Okay, oppressed. All right, let's see. <laughs> Someone feels oppressed. Wow, over a message that they did not see coming. So someone got some bad news. They interpret it as bad news. They perceive this as bad news. It's not bad news for you, collective, but it's bad news for them because of how they perceive you. Okay. kidding me you got main female and main male in reverse and then a gift so I'm hearing two ways someone wants to really truly truly be with you really bad like really really bad but they did a lot of things to push you away now they're realizing that you're the gift. They want you. The bad news here is that they may find out that some of you guys are in connection and relationship. And it's going to make them <laughs> like physically sick. I don't, I don't, underst <laughs> I don't understand this bullshit, man. I, I don't get it. You had access to a diamond, which was the collective. You had access to a premium, priceless diamond, Karmic. And you threw it away like it was just trash. It wasn't bright enough. It wasn't clean enough. It wasn't all these things that you said that it wasn't. You threw it in the trash. Violently. Haphazardly. You just threw it away. Now someone comes along and they see this imperfect perfection imperfect perfection in this person's eyes now they want to try to come and bogart through something i don't understand that why do people have to wait to experience something harsh for them to realize that they they lost something good or great i don't get that why not just get your shit together the first time around so that way you don't be losing stuff or losing people i don't get it they upset that you could be potentially, some of you guys are, some of you guys are not yet, but y'all going to be in connections. And for the ones that are in connections, hearing this is bad news to them. It's going to make them physically sick. Why would that make you physically sick, Karmic? Why would that make you physically sick? I don't get that. 
when you're the one out here doing all these sneaky, underhanded bullshit towards the collective? Why do you, why all of a sudden you have a heart? Why all of a sudden you have feelings for the collective? I don't get that. But yet you're projecting onto the collective that they have mental illness. The shit that the, the, the karmic is doing is mental illness. This shit ain't normal. They had a once in a lifetime opportunity. Yes. The collective is a once in a lifetime experience. Yes. You don't get to hang around people in that nature. It's very rare and unique to know someone like the collective. Yep, I'm going there. It is an honor to me to be amongst the collective. I'm talking about the 144, the high vibrant ones. That's who I'm talking about. The real authentic ones. And now that they see your honor from far away, now they want to run behind you. Why? <laughs> For what reason? I don't get that. <laughs> You're in bad health. Oh, yeah, over your connection. What the fuck is that? What is that? You feel oppressed by the collective moving on? Like what? <laughs> That's weird. Very, very weird change. You got somebody from the past that's watching you, child. However way they watch you. They also hired another. Another? another uh private investigator they just keep going through different private investigators i, I don't understand why y'all not together what i don't i don't understand they threw you away like you were trash <laughs> they did but they helped you to see your imperfect perfections and because you did you found someone or soon to find someone that's going to match that and that's making them sick. How? <laughs> Why would somebody else getting in love or being in love make you sick when you had the opportunity to have the love? Make it make sense. <laughs> make it make sense, man. You didn't want love, and that's okay. The collective do, and they moving forward. <laughs> Imagine you trying to love somebody and you get harmed. Hurts literally, physically, emotionally, financially, all of these psychologically, you getting hurt for trying to love someone. That's odd. That is so odd. And even odder that they're upset that you could potentially be in a connection. What difference does it make what the collective do or is is doing or not doing? What difference does it make? Why is it any of, of your concern, Karmic? I don't get that. I, I'm telling you, it's physically, physically sick. Like symptoms and all, sick. Like love sick. Uh -huh. <laughs> this don't make no damn sense. And of course, you're going to drop this, this reading on Venus Day. Oh, spirit. What else, boo? <laughs> and ending. They know there's no, no, no point of return. They can never, ever come back. Ever. Man, there is some serious regret. I'll say that. <laughs> oh, they are regretting. They regret everything. Everything. Everything is bad. It's affecting their health. Which, I'm sorry. I, I, I just can't have feelings or sympathy for someone. I, I just can't. Uh -huh, I can't. Mm-mm. No, I can't have sympathy for someone that was maliciously trying to hurt you, like intentionally trying to hurt the collective. I can't. And the thought of you being with somebody else making them sick that bad? 
They had the opportunity to be with you and they dropped the ball. And you know this ain't gonna resonate for everybody, right? <laughs> I need to put that as a disclaimer. This reading is not going to resonate for everybody, okay? All right, what else? We got hope in reverse and then devotion upright. They're losing hope that you don't have love for them when you're not devoting to them anymore. A lamb or that's a sheep, sheep, okay. Okay, that's symbolic. They both symbolic. Actually, the sheep and the butterfly. The sheep is you basically, your eyes closed. They don't want you to be aware of the, who their true character or nature is or was. And then you have the butterfly here in reverse. They didn't want you to have any hope of transforming or moving forward. They wanted to keep you stuck. They wanted to keep you stuck in toxicity. I don't... I don't get people. I don't get people. They were not loyal to you. They were not. They weren't loyal to you. Not at all. Happiness is in reverse. Yeah, they wanted to see you unhappy, which is fucking odd. Why would you want to see another person unhappy? That's weird. Purification and bashfulness. They are so embarrassed that they can't fix or heal this. And people know who they are too. And they're not rocking with this person. They don't have respect for this person. And this person can feel that. That people are pulling away or either they have pulled away or they are pulling away. Yeah, this person is losing, they're losing their strength. Like they, like physically sick over you. Like for real, for real, physically sick over the collective. Why? How? How is that possible? How? How? When they tarnish the connection, when they fucked up the connection, how can you, how? Can somebody help me, help me please. That's like a rhetorical and a direct question. Like how? <laughs> How do they even have a say in any of this shit? Or feelings, they don't. But you know, I'm just like, ow. <laughs> Could be a Virgo, low vibrational Virgo. Yo, this, this don't make sense to me, but I got to get a message. Wholeness and desire. Like without you, they can't feel whole. They want to feel whole. But because you're not there, they don't have a desire to feel whole. <laughs> they had the diamond right in front of them and they threw it away because it was imperfect. It wasn't imperfect perfection. It was just imperfect. And they can't deal with imperfect or people being imperfect. They got to be perfect for whoever they choose. But the perfection that they choose is always the same. Toxic, trifling, ghetto, trash, da, 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 whatever the case may be. It's not top tier. It's not the top of the top, the creme de la creme. It's not any of that stuff. Here we go with being said the same. People, birds of, feather, birds of a feather flock together and differences, uniqueness. Oh, you just like them. You ain't this. You ain't that. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Really and truly, when people speak, Really and truly, just listen to them. Pay attention to what they say. I'm going to keep saying that until it clicks. Because it really, truly can save you from a lot of heartache, a lot of time wasted, energy wasted, emotions wasted. You know, sometimes we got to go through, go through these things to get the experience or the knowledge. But sometimes it takes us, and I say us as a collective, 
uh, extreme measures until we finally click it, until, you know, it's really bad to the point you're like, oh my God, you know, you kind of escape it with just that little bit left like that. But learning how to just listen to people, man, it, it, it really can save, it can truly save your life, for real. And it can save you from a lot of heartache and pain and, and all this extra stuff. But I keep hearing you're like them. You're you're all you're all like them. You're all the same. Which I don't understand. How are you getting mad at the person or the people that you keep that you keep choosing as the same? That's a you issue, karmic. I'm gonna add the collective too, because you can spin it in a different way, a different perspective. It's all about choice, is what I'm speaking about. And this person decided to keep picking the same choices and was expecting you to be the same way. And because you weren't the same way, it created some kind of a volatile tick or trigger within them because they were losing sense of control. All they know is chaos. That's all they know. But chaos that they can control. That's how they feel so superior to other people is because they can control the chaos that they create. It's like, metaphorically speaking, or figuratively speaking, you got to, uh, maybe that's not the right, I was going to say, I don't want to say that because I don't want to get, <laughs> uh, mm. I'll think of something else. That was actually a really good thing, but um, I'll think of something else. I just don't want to say that particular word on YouTube. All right. <laughs> all right so the chaos that they can control um it's also like a form of manipulation as well too chaos is also another form of manipulation and figuratively speaking you know, when you have those uh, like ventriloquist strings and you're controlling whatever the, the, the dummy or whatever the case may be or the doll. It's a form of control, but it's also a form of chaotic control. When you look at a ventriloquist hands, right? It, 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 it just it looks tantalizing to me. I'll, I'll say from my perspective, it looks very tantalizing to the point where um it's all about movement. It's all about energy. And it takes a lot of energy or exertion to exert your fingers to do certain things with this person. It's not slow. It's always very fast. That makes sense. Like when you hold the stick, right? It's not always slow. It's always in a fast movement. Like you're trying to keep up with this person because the ventriloquist, ventriloquist, they are ventriloquist. <laughs> Um, is the person that's trying to control the object, the subject, which is the doll. And it always has to keep up because if it can't keep up, well, then the doll can't do what it's trying to get it to do. That makes sense. So this person here was like that, was trying to control you. It could be mind control, physical control, etc., etc. But they were trying to control you in many different ways here so that you, I'm going to put it this way too, that you didn't feel whole. They didn't want you to desire yourself as whole because they didn't feel that way. And there were a lot of things that they did not felt that you brought on to them or you opened them up to. And it became very scary because they've never experienced anything like that before. So instead of them embracing it, they pushed you away like a virus, like bacteria, right? You had your red blood cells and your white blood cells. The white blood cells is to um, protect you from, you know, viruses and things of that nature from entering your body. And they looked at you as a foreign object or a foreign subject. And they literally pushed you away. Now that they see, because they're watching you. So however you do, you could be on TikTok. I'm hearing TikTok a lot. So somebody may do TikTok videos or so. You have a stalker on there that's watching you on TikTok. Okay, if you have like an active TikTok, I'm talking to you. Okay, if you're not on TikTok, I ain't talking to you. Okay? But I heard TikTok. So you could be on TikTok doing your dances or whatever it is that you do over there looking good, you know? You have a stalker that's watching you, okay? Um, on other platforms as well, too. If you don't have a platform, they do have like a picture or pictures that you may have taken or so. They have some kind of something where they can see you. It's like a picture or actual 
social media, whatever, however, okay? So take that how that resonates because it's not going to resonate for everybody, okay? So I want to make that clear again. That's what they're doing. They're reminiscing a lot about the pictures or the social media, whatever, okay? Could be an Aquarius or a Cancer. Aquarius, Cancer, or Virgo. Going back to that chaotic control. Since they had control of their chaos, they wanted to feel like they had the upper hand above you. Is but it? Mm, they wanted to feel like they had the upper hand against you or above you because they're in control of the chaos that they created. So when you didn't succumb to this person's chaos. And you had peace within. That's why it's so important to really work within or work with the divine or work with your higher self, etc., etc., because it really helps you to find an inner peace. And when you have inner peace amongst a chaotic environment, it's not going to affect you. And there were a lot of times where you had to be very resilient and use that inner peace to guide you out of this craziness. <laughs> And all you have around you is torrential storms and rain and projection and rah, you ain't darn and all this other stuff. Realizing that, yes, it's raining outside. It's all metaphorically, figuratively speaking. Even though it's raining outside, i.e. this person is yelling and screaming and stomping and causing all types of whatever, right? And, and just so in, inwardly, you went within yourself and you realized that you're the, the, the calm before the storm, Right? This person is creating such volatile, atmospheric environments that it kind of pushed you to go to get closer to within or within yourself. That irritated their spirit as well, too. Because they were trying to get a rise out of you. They were trying to do things to make you feel small or less than and they couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. You were something that they wanted. They have always wanted. They prayed for for a very long time. They finally got it, but they weren't ready for it. And because they weren't ready for it in their perception, they deemed it as trash. I don't want that. What the fuck I'm going to do with that? I don't want that. They didn't want love. You can't blame them. Hey, that's their prerogative. That's their choice. You got to accept it for what it is. But just because they don't want love doesn't mean that you are not deserving of love. They don't want it. But just because they didn't want it at the time, they're trying to project onto you to ensure that you don't want love either. That's why they've been so hell and went hell Mary on you. Like, ah, yeah, and all this extra stuff. They want you to feel scared of love because they don't want you to ever receive the love that you deserve. And they know deep down inside that you truly deserve that love because you emit it. You have it within. You do deserve it. That's what you project out to the universe. You project love. So you deserve that back. But they don't want you to know or to see that you deserve the love that you give. Does that make sense? They want to project their hate onto you so you can feel how they're feeling. Oh, I don't want love. F love. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's the perception that they want you to stay in. That's their perception, not yours. So for them to be physically sick here, that don't make sense to me. <laughs> How are you trying to physically, emotionally, financially, um, mentally, spiritually abuse someone and think it's okay for them to just sit there and take that shit? You got me fucked up. All the way fucked up. Abuse is not acceptable of any type. I don't give a fuck what it is. It ain't acceptable. And people are still living these very old traditional ways to think that abuse is okay. You just don't talk about it. Fuck that. Because if you continue to allow this to happen by not speaking up, it's going to continue. They don't want anything new. They're not ready for it. Well, that's them. What they got to do with you and your growth and your change, collective? What they got to do with you? Not a motherfucking thing. 
If they not ready to grow and change, that's on them. But don't allow people's projections of hate and vileness money your 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 life your path from what you truly want and if it's love that you truly desire then that's what you're gonna get if that's what you're pushing out that's what you're gonna get back and it's a lot of heavy projection oh you don't deserve love you don't deserve that fuck you karmic you don't know what the fuck the, the collective deserve clearly because you couldn't give it to them <laughs> so yo yo bitch ass answers another motherfucking void bitch Period. You don't have not an ounce of a say in regards to how the collective is going to live their motherfucking life. Period. You didn't know what the fuck you were doing, chief. And this can be spun in many different ways. It could be for a mother, a father, an uncle, cousin, ex, boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, whatever, however. Just take our residence in your story. They didn't give a fuck about you at all. at all they project hate that's what they get back they're mad you match vibrationally that's how that's how this works you match vibrationally and it was a part of you collective i have to say it. yeah i may trigger a couple of you guys but that's okay it's how you learn and grow you were a vibrational fit to that karmic because there was something at the time that you were mirroring and they were mirroring and that had to be a lesson or experience for you to experience or learn from. It had to happen in that way. And majority of you guys passed the test. So now you're going to enjoy your milk and honey. That was the biggest test of it all. The grand pumba of the narcissist. Because these people are unhinged. They want to be wrong and strong. But got the motherfucking audacity to develop an ailment, a sickness over you. Makes no sense whatsoever. I think they're lovesick. Of, I think that the, the idea of you being in the love is making them sick. <laughs> they couldn't do it though. Refinement is in reverse. They couldn't do it. It's going to be a low vibrational Scorpio. We have agreements. Could be a Libra. Or they're trying to get you to be in agreement with what, how they feel. But we have energy and fertility. Energy and fertility. So that's Leo and Virgo. They don't have the energy to say how they feel. They're really sick. They're physically sick. That's wisdom. They're physically sick. Leo, they're physically sick over this. And nothing's growing. Nothing. Nothing is growing in their life. They are physically sick over you, which it just makes no sense to me. But whatever. great crumble following the spark the spark is their angriness you see all that red <laughs> all that red is anger we're gonna look at it in that way and it literally split it split everything for you to see that's where that great crumble comes in it was hidden it were see how it started from see follow the spark we we're just going to imagine that these plants are the same, right? But you see how it grew? It was small. Everything was calm. You can see, you know, the light is there. And then following the spark into this here, it's like, we'll just say that this turned into this. To the point where they're trying to hide everything. You can't see. There's no light here. You know what I mean? Everything was open and everyone can see at one point in time. But when you get behind closed doors... No one can see what was going on. That makes sense. But eventually this grew into vines or whatever. And this person tried to hide it. 
but you see the cracks are here. So the great crumble. It's like their temper crumbled everything. Now they're having sleepless nights because of it. Because you were not supposed to make it to the finish line. And they were very strong and very adamant about that. You were not supposed to make it to the finish line. They think your disrespectfulness is um, very loud and more so, um, how can I put that? Um, well, they feel because you don't respect them, you don't respect yourself. That's how they view life. If you don't respect them, then you don't respect yourself. That makes no fucking sense at all, whatsoever. It makes no sense. But then again, we're not dealing with smart people. These are the same dumb motherfuckers that call us dumb, which is very, very insulting to my high intellect. Yes, very insulting. Mm -hmm. Anywho. I just keep hearing, baby, come back. You can put it on me. Whoever sing that song, they're going through grief. They don't want you to know. They don't want you to know anything of what's going on, but you do, and you will know, because you have every right to know. Every right to know. Ascension, tension, they're not ascending. Yeah, this person's physically sick over you. Make a wish is in reverse. They can't make no wish. The thought of you being with someone makes them sick. I, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. They want to attach themselves to you. <laughs> like they just want to just control you, which is just very irritating. It's very irritating. Very irritating. We have the moon here. They spoke to their mother about this. sick over you like physically sick i don't that's some weird ass shit right? like that's all i keep hearing like they're physically sick over you like why why i don't get that you fucked it up karmic why should the collective give you any type of fucking sympathy i don't get that That's what I be talking about, people playing in people's face. Because you playing in the collector's face. And I don't like that. They called their mother and they told their mother about you. Or they told the truth. They told the truth about you to their mother. But they feel stuck. They feel like they can't move. Yeah, they told the truth to their mother. How cute. <clears throat> they sure did. They confessed everything to their mother. <laughs> yeah, how they lost you. Yeah, they confessed everything to their mother. That's going to be the title of this. This is weird ass shit, man.
And I say mother, because again, it's not going to resonate for everybody. I say mother because moon represents mother. Sun represents father. Okay? So mother, grandmother, aunt, a mother figure. Take it how it resonates. But there's a mother figure here that they've, they've um, expressed deep regret in regards to losing you. Okay? They told the truth. Yeah. Like they feel like someone has taken you away from them. This is just how they see things, okay? The karmics I'm speaking about. They, they feel like someone took you away from them. People are going to know about your relationship. I'm just a messenger collective. I don't want no smoke with you, okay? I'm just a messenger. Because I, I don't want nobody to know my business. To me, boo, I'm on your side. I don't want no smoke with you, okay? Not right now. Somehow, some way, they going to know. That's all I can say. I'm not going to lie to you. Say community, okay? They going to find out. Ain't nothing going to happen to the connection. The connection is strong like a motherfucker. It's durable. Unbreakable. Yes. Made of the best of the best of the best. It cannot be broken, Okay? cannot unless you do it but it cannot be broken not this connection okay i guess i had to make that clear <laughs> yes Ooh. prayers okay makes sense so you see how it, it i was trying to show and then it kind of flew away yeah it's hidden prayers or prayers that yeah the, the 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 connection is safe. It's like prayerfully, affirmationally, mantrally safe. Okay. Yes. No one can break it up. No one don't. You know. So whatever prayer that you say behind closed doors. Yes. Okay. Yes. Makes sense. <laughs> okay so wow this is actually spirit doing this so okay fate yeah that's spirit doing this spirit is opening up so everybody can see wow okay spirit oh okay it's gonna shock a lot of people they're gonna be like what really yeah it's gonna shock a lot of people <laughs> Flowers with your fine and beautiful self. Feel flowers, flowers, flowers. They gonna be hating on your love, boo. They gonna be hating. Not me. Give me some cake, you know. Whatever you decide to make, I'm good. You bet. I want that piece right here, right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bruh, they gonna feel betrayed by you, y'all. He sets us. Uh, family gonna feel betrayed. Yo, you gonna fuck up. You gonna fuck up a lot of people here with this one, boy. Yo, people be like, what? Yeah, spirit is pushing this out. This is not even big. Yeah. I'm just the messenger. Okay, they're gonna find out eventually. They are. Yes, the lovers. <laughs> hey, so if you're in a relationship now, they're going to find out eventually. If you're not in a relationship now, when you get in a relationship now, eventually you're going to find out, okay? So take this, take your space however it needs to resonate, okay? Mm -hmm, very quickly. Like, news is going to spread real quickly. They so fucking nosy, child. Uh, uh, uh. But they're really sick over you. Yeah, they've been talking to a lot of, I'll say, feminine energies about you. So either masculine, 
or or from take a high resonates but there's someone from the past that has been speaking speaking about you to other people a lot about you to other people okay more of a motherly figure or woman i'll just say woman because moon represents women menzies emotions family stuff like that so someone is having a lot of conversation about you in regards to how they can get you to come back to them okay yeah we got the three of pentacles here They're working together or they're getting advice from other people here. But the Seven of Swords is out. So they, they confess. They told a mother-like figure or a woman here everything that happened. They did. Yep. Yeah. And now they're in the Ten of Swords. They're trying to figure out how they can get back. <laughs> Ten of Cups. They're trying to keep this a secret, but you know already. The answer is no. <laughs> I'm telling you, uh, we got a uh, temperance. I got to get a new deck, another deck of these, because this is like real old now. But we got temperance, and then also we have judgment. Extreme judgment was, was called on this person. And you're moving forward with the Ace of Pentacles. And that is, it's... <laughs> It's truly making them sick. Yeah, I got to get a new deck. Yeah. It's my favorite deck, though. <sighs> They're in the Ten of Wands. All right, I need to put that down on my list of new new decks to get. I'm getting a few new decks. I'm just waiting. You know, they're international, you know. So I got to wait for my babies to come through custom. But, yeah, I can't wait to read with them cards, boo. I can't wait. It's such an honor. <laughs> things are even. Things are even. But things are getting even. Things are getting real for you, collective, or soon to get real for you. <laughs> okay. So the ones that want love, you're going to get love. Okay, could be with an earth sign. So take a how it resonates. And it's going to be very heated, like the connection, not in a not in a negative way. Um, in a very positive way, like uh passionate, fiery, but intimate, not carnal. Big difference. It's not going to be carnal, it's going to be very intimate. So it's a huge difference. Yeah, huge turn. For, for better. I'm telling you. <laughs> Kids are involved. So, yeah, going to grow. So, if you don't want no kids, okay? Listen, if you don't want to, you don't want to get pregnant, be careful. So, you can't say I ain't say, okay? Yeah, be careful because you're going to get God. So you don't, you don't want any kids because it's going to come back full circle. Could be an air sign. <clears throat> or an air sign is in pain. There's a, wow, okay. So there's an air sign that has problems. <coughs> Lab, they got to get labs done. So there's an air sign, could be low vibrational air sign that's having issues, that's going to the doctors, that has to go to the doctors. So they're finding out some kind of news. Yes, yeah, Santa Claus will say like a gift or a surprise. You know, when they say Santa Claus is coming, it's like a surprise. So uh, there's that's that was very specific. There's a low vibrational air sign that's going to the doctors to find out some per, some diagnosis of their body. They, they got to get lab work done. It could be about a water sign. Okay, what they need to decide to do. Take it how it resonates. Those is karmics.
Yeah, something's going on. Could be either with a water sign or a low vibrational water sign or air sign that could be sick here. So take it how it resonates, but they need to write some form. Could be like a do not resuscitate something. Something nature. Someone's doing really bad. Their health is declining. You don't know who I'm speaking about. Let me pick a couple letters. That's what spirits say. I'm not done. I just need to pick letters for this particular name. Okay. All right. I have picked five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. I'll just pick these. Just so we have letter I. Y. A. G, V, R, and E, okay? I'm here in the Vegas, V-A-G-U-S, and I know that's the part of, that's a certain part of the um, your brain, so let me just look that up real quick. Vegas nerve, let's see what, what to do. Your vagal nerves are a part of your body's nervous system. They play important roles in involuntary sensory and motor movement functions, including digestion. Oh, okay. So it provides somatic motor innervation to striated muscles of the pharynx and larynx. Okay, so... So someone may have issues with their vag vagus, vagus nerve abdominal pain and bloating, acid reflux, changes to heart rate, blood pressure or blood sugar, difficulty <clears throat> swallowing or loss of gag reflex, dizziness or fainting, hoarseness, wheezing or loss of voice, okay? Then we have the word Valerie here. I don't have all the letters, but Valerie is here. V-A-L. I don't have all the... and then variation so there's like a variation of things as well too so v-a-l-e-r-i-e -E. or it could be v-a-l-a-r-a-y because i do have y here too okay volume volume varies variety so there's a variety of things that are happening someone's name is ari all right someone's very rageful r-a-g-e Someone's name is Ray. All right, I heard to keep that there, but continue with the cards. Okay. <clears throat> so. So someone's sick, really sick. They don't have a connection at all. Yeah, their unplugging could be unplugging you know because i saw um do not resuscitate paperwork they don't want you to know that so someone's really sick and they don't want you to know it's an adult <clears throat> not a child it's an adult yeah, that needs a lot of healing. They're trying to get guidance or they're trying to get guidance or they're trying to trust in guidance, but guidance is not coming to them. They're trying to re repent as they search for guidance, but someone is sick in a hospital. Yeah, someone is sick. Authenticity. They're not healthy. Yeah, you're going to learn about it. Surrender. They don't want you to know. I don't think you care.
the one's last name could be Voigt, V-O-I-G-H-T. I'm hearing Fantastic Voyage. Yes, listen to me. <laughs> I don't think you care. It could be a low vibrational Scorpio that's in the hospital. Too good to be true. Yeah, they have a lot of bad luck. It could be a Capricorn in the hospital. Take it how it resonates. Pretending that everything is okay, but it's not. <clears throat> You could have separated from this person, pregnancy. You may have a child with this person. Take it how it resonates. Uh, this person's on a down low. There are sudden changes. There's a lot of drug use involved because they are afraid. Afraid of getting caught. Yeah, afraid of taking something that don't belong to them. A Leo could be involved. Yeah, they feel stuck. Very sneaky. A Libra could be involved. Take it how it resonates. Could be a secret lover. A karmic secret lover, take it how it resonates, okay? Cards is just, they spitting. All right, you're going to get justice, of course, collective. Yeah, in legal matters, everything that you ask for, you will receive. Every single thing that you ask for, you will receive. Everything. Everything is safe. It will be returned safely to you, okay? We have married. <clears throat> you're going to be married if you're not married. Soon to be married if you're engaged okay a sagittarius could be involved take it how it resonates okay that backfired your witchcraft backfired it didn't work they're going through a lot of mental issues this person yeah they have a lot of anxiety this sagittarius yeah damn spirit You'll see this. Mm, I don't know if I want to say that. Okay, done it. All right, don't say it. All right. They're toxic. Very toxic towards the divine feminine. They were very toxic towards the divine feminine. Because you can't be a, a divine feminine and toxic. You can't. <laughs> you ain't a divine feminine if you're toxic. But there was someone that was a Sagittarius. That was the last card. Or Capricorn or Scorpio or whatever other signs there was there. Um, they were toxic, toxic towards the divine feminine doing black magic. Yeah. Damn, they're in financial failure, financial ruins. Someone's in the hospital though. Yeah, I'm telling you, you're going to get a message coming. Someone passed away. Yeah, I'm telling you, no communication. Intuitive, someone may have took something and they didn't make it. Some kind of drug or something. They overdose on drugs. Someone was very unloyal to you. Someone overdosed on drugs. Yeah, they burnt out. They have no money. Sad. I'm telling you, bro. person was in competition with you <clears throat> they a, some kind of a drug overdose sucker for love hmm, yeah dangerous they played dangerous games they were plotting against you in a dangerous way because they knew that you were a sucker for love or that's what they assumed you weren't a sucker for love like so they work hard and trying to stop you from receiving that but you weren't a sucker for love you are love. You are the epitome of love. How you want? Oh, goodness gracious. I'm, yeah, I'm telling you. 
it is a tower moment for a narcissist. <clears throat> There's a narcissist that's transitioning. Yeah. A narcissist is transitioning. They are. Due to some kind of drug overdose or something. They found out the truth about a toxic family. And they're freaking out. Or they freaked out. be hidden anymore or a child won't be hidden anymore yeah they're being repossessed not in a bad way meaning they're just going to be returned back <clears throat> to the collective Narcissist has self destructs daddy issues, take it how it resonates. But this uh, narcissist has self destruct and you're going to learn about it. Yep. And you're going to uh, listen, hey, shit. You're going to feel free. Things going, I'm, hey. Can't tell you how to process your emotions as long as you're not crazy. You know what I mean, collective? can't tell someone how to process how they feel so hey if that's how you feel that's how you feel listen <laughs> we respect it <clears throat> we respect it i feel like there are no more secrets about this person to be had like all this person's secrets are out and they're in their karma bird's been chirping for a good maybe 15 minutes now it's a lot of messages. Girl, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> that could be symbolic. Listen to the birds or listen for when birds are chirping and just sit with self if you can. Because they chirping. They chirping, chirping. Yeah, I'm hearing sorry for your loss. Help is in reverse. Message of forgiveness is in reverse. Communication you're going to receive about a loss. I'm telling you. You're going to feel this, man. Hey, that shit came out again. Burden of tears. I don't know. Take a high resonates. You gonna be at peace. Yeah, you gonna have high optimism. It's gonna feel like you can breathe. Like there's no more dead end. Wow. Your feelings are valid. Uh, collective it's very valid been through a lot yeah you in solitude you gonna come out more do more for self divine time yeah this is all spirit divine pushing this that's all that's 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 the universe pushing all of this look 11 portal that's spirit you gonna hear a lot of synchronies, or you wanna hear a lot of syn man. This is so spooky sometimes, man. Look, it's double numbers. This is divinely spirit doing this. 
Wow. Double numbers. Protection and then because four to four represent protection. But the more four there is, the stronger the protection. Yeah, spirit is detaching you from the whole everything. Yep. Yeah. There's no unfinished business. None. There's none. Wow. Someone needs to take Viagra. Or they want to take Viagra. Something about Viagra. Okay? So I'm from Georgia, Virginia, Rhode Island. Far, far Rockaway. Far East Rockaway. Far Rockaway. So take that how that resonates. East New York. Orange, New Jersey. Roanoke, Virginia. Osteoporosis. Calgary, Calgary chocolate, Cadbury chocolate, Calbury, is that in Canada or is it Calgary? Calgary, Canada, I believe. The Today Show. <clears throat> you like pie, uh, cherry pie, cherry tart pie, or you're making a cherry tart pie, lemon pie. So one, be careful of your hip. If you're walking, be careful you don't slip somewhere. Someone loves toads or frogs as like, I guess, pets, amphibians or so. Somebody has genital warts. Somebody loves Pop-Tarts, um, chocolate and strawberry, so you'll eat two at a time. I'm not judging you, I'm just, just giving the message. So I see two boxes of Pop-Tarts. I see strawberry, then I see chocolate or s'mores. It's all chocolate. And someone takes both of them, they eat them at the same time. I know that's very specific. Someone cannot drink out of a cup like regularly. It has to be a straw. And if there's no straw, they can't drink out of it. Yeah, somebody feels very broken by all that has happened here. Like very broken. Could be your brother. Take it how it resonates. Broke. Broke. Someone's name is Rick. I'm seeing bloke, B L O K E. I think that's a term in England, bloke. If I'm wrong, please correct me. I'm hearing crikey, blindy. <laughs> What letter that was? Oh shit! I'm being told to go get it, man. Come on, spirit. Yeah, I. So you're gonna receive information, hidden information. Okay, that makes sense. You're gonna receive hidden information, or hidden information gonna be revealed to you. But someone's sick or they're in a hospital or something that nature. All right. Um, someone's name is Sade. Someone's canceling their Hulu. Someone's going skiing. You could be in Denver or in those areas. Ski. You could be at a ski resort. I'm hearing the Alps. Swedish Alps. Sweeting Alps. Swedish fish. You could be from Wyoming. Someone's name is Duncan. Duncan. 
D-U-N-C-A-N, Dunkin' Donuts. I'm going to stop right there. Someone has a swizzle stick. If you know, you know. All right, we have Scorpio in the 11th house and Pluto. So some changes are happening to someone's 11th house. All right, we have an uh, actual Gemini. Could be an actual Gemini. Seventh house, relationships. Okay. We have Neptune in the third house and Libra. Someone was trying to hide information. Neptune is um, hidden information or just, uh, what do you call it? Like, uh, like you can't see it. You can't see it. Um, illusions. Then the third house is commu uh, communication. So somebody was trying to hide information that can lead to someone's like justice or things being upright. Okay. Second house, Venus, Scorpio. We got a house, the sun, and Libra. Okay. Actual Libra. Um, all right, so we have Gemini, Libra, Sag, Pisces, Aquarius, Pisces, let's do four more, Sag, Capricorn, two more, Pisces, damn. Pisces, let me do one more. God damn. Cancer. Okay? So if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Till next time.